here we're told that an object is released from rest from the roof of a building 49 meters tall. So we make a drawing. This is 49 meters. The object is released from rest. So V0 equals 0. At the same instant, another object is shot vertically up from the ground with a velocity of 29.4 meters per second. At what time will the two objects be at the same altitude? As this object falls, this object rises, and at some instant, they'll be at the same altitude. So the question is to find the time. So let the time be t. This is the time when both are at the same altitude. Now during this time t, this object, the first one, falls a distance of half gt square. So this distance here is half gt square. Why is that? Because the displacement is V0 T plus half A T square. V0 is 0 and plus half A, which is minus G, minus 9.8. So minus 9.8 T square. So the displacement is minus 4.9 t squared. So the distance, this is the displacement, it's negative because the displacement is down. This means that the distance traveled is just 4.9 t squared, which is, which is half g t squared. So this distance here is 4.9 t squared. Now, what about the distance here? What about this distance? This object is shot with an initial velocity of 29.4. So how far does it rise during the time t? Again, I use a formula. So for object two, now, the displacement for object two is again V0 T plus half A T square. And now V0 is V0 for object two. So this is 29. 0.4 t and a is minus 9.8 so that's minus 4.9 t square this is a dis distance it's uh, this is a, a positive quantity the displacement is positive and so this represents a distance that the object number two rises. So object number one falls a distance of 4.9 t squared. 
object number two rises a distance of 29.4 t minus 4.9 t squared. They will meet when the sum of the two distances is equal to 49. So if I add up both distances, they must add up to 49 meters. That's when the two objects meet. So adding uh, minus 4.9 t squared, the, the 4.9 t squared, that's the first distance traveled. This is distance traveled by first object plus 29.4 t minus 4.9 t squared. That's the distance traveled by the second object. These must add up to 49 meters. So this piece and this piece cancel out, and we're left with t equals 49 over 29.4. You can divide both sides by 9.8. You get 5 over 3 seconds, which is 1.67 seconds. That's the time when the two objects are at the same altitude.